The sixth eruption in the Reckonish Peninsula related to the Schwarzenegger volcanic system of the Iceland has been different in a way. It was started like this, but it was bigger than anything else we have seen so far over uh, since the December 2023, actually. The initial uh, volume of the eruption was 1,500 to 2,000 uh, cubic meters per second. It has spread rapidly to four kilometers almost, and a flow of it was going to cover the road to the Grindavik. It, it stopped. It didn't go that direction. It spread in a butterfly pattern to the north and south. Then those stopped, and we had one uh, and two fissures actually near the Sturaskakvel, uh, which were still erupting. And uh, by Saturday, it was around 100 cubic meters. And now it's around uh, 20 to 30 cubic meters per second. And it has reduced significantly, but it's erupting in those two points. The uplift of the land by the magma accumulation in the Swarsinger Reservoir uh, thickened the ground by 40 centimeter before erupting, of course, emptying its load. And uh, the location of it was interesting. It was near the plate boundary. And uh, I showed that, and then we have this map by the Icelandic Meteorological Office, which actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, confirms my initial guess and observation on that. Uh, the land uplift, as I mentioned, was 40 centimeter. But more interesting was the pinching effect in the east-west direction. During the magma accumulation, we had a, a contraction, as if the magma pushing the rift valley together. And then during the eruption, when the moment of eruption happened, the land expanded and opened up and the magma could come out. And uh, we also saw the land, free, uh, when it was taken to 40 uh, centimeter, again, dropped down. It just returned to initial phase. That is pinching effect that is very interesting. And I observed it. Now we see that uh, a similar diagram is also published by the Icelandic Meteorological Office. That was by the University of Iceland. I analyzed it. The volume of the magma eruption is huge. And uh, by, based on the uh, free fall calculations of six seconds for a particle in the top of the fountain reaching the ground, we have reached the conclusion that it's around 176 meters high. At the highest point, it can differ. The risk assessment is now reduced. Uh, the gas pollution is the main problem if you are in Grindavik or nearby areas. And the changing of the direction also uh, today is toward the northwest, then it will be toward the west, where the Vogar and other areas are. This is the, uh, of course, updates that Icelandic Meteorological Office has released. The risk assessment is a legal document. Uh, and uh, it makes you aware when you've seen that, you know the risk associated with it. And uh, what we have seen so far was the biggest eruption. As I mentioned, I'm really happy that what we have made in our videos, uh, an observation that we have made, uh, are actually accurate. And we are in line with what the Icelandic Meteorological Office has announced today again. Uh, and material I had was from yesterday and the day before. I could really, I feel really happy about that. My predictions were correct.